ultimately the the burden isn't on the state to make sure that every individual does what they do to get their ID card. I mean, individuals have certain responsibilities in securing their ID. They have to present the documents needed. Um, the state uh, doesn't have that burden. I think the individual does, and I think it uh, ultimately is a great uh, uh, travesty of justice to violate the rights of millions to have their legally cast vote protected uh, for um, the special interests of a few individuals that are too lazy to get out there and get done what they have to to get their ID card. Okay, are are you absolutely convinced, and and do you have assurances, and can you give us assurances that that the that the methods to implement this law are effective and will in fact make sure that no legitimate voter will be disenfranchised? Yes, I I, I don't believe any legitimate voter that actually um, exer- wants to exercise that right and takes on the according responsibility that goes with that right to secure their photo ID will be disenfranchised. You know, we, sir, we have, as, as Mitt Romney said, I mean, what, we have 40-some percent of the people that are living off the, the public dole, living off of their neighbor's hard work, and we have a lot of people out there that are too lazy to get off and what they, you know, to get up and get out there and, and, and get the ID they need. So, I mean, if individuals are too lazy, the state can't fix that. Um, but the process is put in place to get an ID card, there's a free ID available if somebody needs one. And there's a process they have to go through. They have to present certain documents. That's the way it should be.